hello and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a quick craft voiceover video so we're going to be making hair flowers i needed a variety of hair flowers to go with my new outfits so these are the materials you'll need So while my hot glue heats up, I'm going to arrange my flowers kind of in the way that I imagine I'd want them to be. At first I wanted them to kind of frame my shape, my face, so I was arranging them in a crescent shape. But later on I kind of changed my mind and you'll see that further on in the video. So now I'm taking a Sharpie and I'm kind of tracing a crescent onto my felt and then I go ahead and cut that out. Now if you're going to go ahead and already have a hair comb, you can glue directly onto your hair comb and you can use leaves as your base and then glue your, your flowers on top. But I don't have hair combs right now so I'm going to arrange my flowers onto felt so that way I can bobby pin them in until I do get a hair comb later. So here I'm showing you my mock-up of leaves and my arrangement. So I decided to put leaves to kind of camouflage the felt underneath. So I glue those leaves down first and then I arrange my flowers on top like how I had it at first. As you can see, I'm placing the large flower down first and I can use that as a base for my design. And after this, I just add two lilies on each side of that flower. And you'll notice that the leaves will just peek out in the end. And this looks a lot better to me than having the felt show underneath. I also like the felt underneath because it helps give some stability to the flowers as opposed to it being more flappy if it just had the leaves as a base. And considering I don't have a hair comb underneath it, it needs all of the stability it can get. But with because there is no comb, it will shape to my head a lot better when I lay it flat on my head. But you can also add a brooch pin to the back so that way you can use it as both a hairpiece or a brooch later. Now for the second hair piece. This is just some more flowers I had laying around the house. All of these are flowers I had laying around the house that I wanted to turn into something so that way I could get rid of whatever I couldn't use. So I was plucking the leaves off of some of the shrubs and gluing three pieces to the back of this daisy looking flower because I need a yellow and green hair piece for a blouse that I have. And so that's what I'm doing now, just adding three to each of these. And I'm going to make this hair piece twice so that it has mirroring sides. Now to work on the back portion of the flower. And this is just two leaves that I glue together so that way they stay together and not separated while I work. Then I add three stems with the darker yellow one in the center and the lighter yellow ones on the side. And then once those are all glued on, then I glue the daisy with the three leaves on top of that. And I do this twice.
So now that the two flowers are made, I'm going to put them together on a strip of felt so that they make one. Initially, I was going to do two separate ones, but I decided they'd be cuter together. And then there's like a little gap in there and I like to, I close that up a little so that way it feels more cohesive. And that's what I do in this clip. And then this flower will be done. Last but certainly not least, this is the easiest of all of the flowers. They were actually all easy, but all I do is pluck off these leaves and then separate them into two separate leaves. Then I glue each leaf on the back of each flower so that way they make their own separate hair clips or hair flower. And that way I can wear one on each side of a hairstyle or put them together on one side. So once I glue the leaves on, then I'm going to cut two strips of felt and I'm gonna glue one end of each side of the felt onto the flower so that way there is a little loop in the center that has no glue on it. That way I can use a bobby pin to slide through that piece. You'll see what I'm talking about as I put the felt on there, but there's gonna be a little gap in the center where I can stick a pin or a bobby pin or even a alligator hair clip or something like that. So that's what I'm going to do here. Okay, so after we attach these pieces of felt, you are all done. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I really appreciate your support. Please like and subscribe to this channel. Please feel free to share my channel with anyone you think will care, as well as follow me on Instagram where I am more active throughout the week and hashtag Serena so that way I can see if you make any of these hair flowers yourself. Until the next video, Bye.